So hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with a very special The Hunter Call of the Wild video. Now as you guys may well know if you have been following along on the channel, I have recently been grinding incredibly hard trying to find a great one black bear. I really really wanted to try and find one. I've been putting in like 12 hour days killing thousands and thousands of bears and last night something pretty incredible actually ended up happening i'm still in shock this is literally a few hours later that i'm recording this and as you will see i was just normally grinding i just shot a bear went and picked it up i came back to the lake because i noticed that i was getting some more bears coming in after i'd shot the initial bears that i would see here and i'm just spotting them i'm looking to see what i've got to shoot a level six a couple of level threes and then i see this the ten fabled black bear just stood there and my heart started racing i was shaking i was panicking i could not believe that i had finally found one of these things i was at roughly between 4.8 and 4.9 thousand kills hadn't had a lot of diamonds i got really lucky with the rares but not very many big bears on my grind and i just kind of had this feeling that it, this was never gonna happen and honestly it took quite a toll on me i was seeing lots of other people getting lots and lots of diamonds and i was very concerned that maybe maybe i was doing something wrong that maybe my normal tactics that i use of just killing everything weren't working but every time i looked at trying something else it just didn't feel right um there was a lot of theories going around lots of different things lots of uh theories and stuff that, that people were trying and just nothing felt the same as just killing everything and when i killed everything males females big small just slaughtering every bear that's when i had my best luck and that's when i did have level nine show up so i carried on doing that and then last night it finally happened and i just couldn't could not believe it and getting to see the the heavyweight track there and getting to pick up the disturbed veg of the fabled cream now fabled cream was actually one of the fur types i loved the most when i saw all of the different fur variations for the great one black bear i really liked the fabled glaciers and the fabled spotted but the fabled cream had a really special place in my heart i just thought it was such a beautiful looking bear and when i saw that that's what what it was from across the lake i just could tell immediately that's what it was i was just absolutely awestruck now you will have seen i changed the time a couple of times back to day to actually make it to where i could see this guy in daylight now unfortunately mountain lions were being mountain lions and spooking the bears and unfortunately he did get spooked by a mountain lion so here i was just tracking him to see where he is now forewarning because i do this with great ones when i find them and sometimes it frustrates people i am going to be spending a lot of time in this video getting close to this bear to take pictures to get up close video footage it's something that i really enjoy this is the part of the grind that makes it worth it for me like I don't see the point in putting in all of these hundreds and hundreds of hours of work, thousands and thousands of kills, to see a great one across a lake, shoot it and it be over in a few seconds. I like to actually spend some time with the animal out on the map and as you can see in here, I was just absolutely blown away by how beautiful this thing was just absolutely gorgeous and i have to say in game they look just so much better than i think you could ever portray in any pictures really there's something so special about seeing them like this and seeing them up close and i got really really fortunate to actually get some very very up close looks at this guy and get some really nice pictures and be able to get some really really up close footage that i was super super happy with and hopefully you guys will enjoy seeing it now here he actually managed to get around me on this hill and go back down it whilst i was still crawling up and you're gonna see him back at the bottom of this hill i wasn't sure if it was another male that was warning calling because there was a lot of male bears around but i could then see that he was walking around sort of at the base of this uh bit of a slope actually going alert now I was really fortunate that I did actually manage to get to see him in daylight and unfortunately you can see here we're kind of in the shadows where there is some sun sort of over in the uh, sort of top part of the screen there you can see there's a bit more of a sunny area but 
we're going to get a good look at him here and then he is actually going to run up into that sunny area. Now unfortunately there wasn't a lot of vegetation for me to be able to hide myself in so that we could get super close. But you can actually see his beautiful colours in the sunlight which just was amazing. But just look at this guy. So incredibly beautiful and of course the noticeably bigger model of the Great One Black Bear. They are so much more chunky and I absolutely love that. I think the Great Ones having a different model is actually really, really important and I think it's absolutely perfect. Because, of course, these guys are a heavier weight than your normal black bears. A normal black bear will max out at 290 kgs in Call of the Wild. And as you will have seen from this guy's spotting info and from his tracks, he is much heavier than 290 kgs. So it makes sense for him to have that bigger, bulkier model. And it just looks so cool. On you know, a non-antlered or horned great one. I think having that bigger and different model is just so, so important. And I think they did a fantastic job of pulling that off with the great one black bear. These things are truly a sight to behold. And here we go, getting to take a look at him in sunlight. Just look at the colours on this thing. It really is just absolutely gorgeous. The fabled cream, I think, might be a bit of an underrated fur type because, honestly, I think these are just so, so, so beautiful. And like I said, seeing it in-game, it only looked more beautiful than I thought it did from the images we'd already seen. Like, that is just a stunning-looking bear. The white on the chest and going down the belly... It just looks so good and it works so well with the rest of the tones in the fur. I think this is a really amazing, just amazing design for a great one. And seeing that 10 fabled on a black bear, just so awesome. It's something I've been wanting to see for, you know, quite a while now. And you know, for 4.8 to 4.9 thousand kills. I don't have it exactly, but I know it's between those two figures. And, you know, it's a lot of kills. And then you finally see one after so long. And I just can't believe it's happened. I genuinely can't believe it. I was talking to people in Discord at the time saying, is this a dream? Because I've had dreams where I found a great one bear. And, you know, you wake up and it's, oh, it's not real. But this was real. And it still hasn't quite sunk in yet that I managed to find one of these things. I was really excited when we found out the Great One was a black bear. I know a lot of people were very disappointed as they were hoping for, for moose or something with big impressive antlers. But I wanted to see what the team at EW could do with something that doesn't have horns or antlers. You know, something that's going to rely on a, a different model and unique fur types. And I think they did a really fantastic job. Now, I kept resetting the time in order to try and get this guy into his zone because, as I mentioned, the mountain lions were playing absolute havoc with the black bear at this lake. They were chasing them around and spooking them all the time. And I wanted to get this guy into his zone so that I could make some kind of approach where I'd be able to get into some cover and try and get this guy ideally under 10 meters. Now, I wanted to basically get as close as I possibly could, take a few pictures, and then I knew it would all be over in a matter of seconds. I learned some really interesting things during this. One of them is that bears will still come to a call when nervous. Now, I did not know this to start off with. So at this point, I do not have my caller on me because I didn't see a point. Because I knew this guy was going to be nervous. So I was basically just trying to ambush him. And I got into some cover here and he starts running straight towards me. And this was just a moment of just, oh my gosh, he's coming this way. Hopefully this is going to be the moment that I get a really, really close up look at him, get some nice pictures. And something else that I wanted to try and do was see if I could get him to go aggressive because I've been pretty lucky during my grind with getting black bears to go aggressive. It's not an extremely common thing, but I've been pretty fortunate with actually having several aggressive encounters. And I thought it'd be really cool to get a great one to go aggressive. Unfortunately, it didn't didn't work out. I spent like two hours, I think, nearly chasing this guy around from when I initially spotted, to, spotted him to when I actually ended up taking him out. Just trying to get as close to him and see what interactions I could have. Um, and like I said, unfortunately, I didn't get the aggressive interaction. But I did get some really awesome close-ups of this guy. Now, I noticed here that even at this distance, 
he noticed that I just wasn't quite fully hidden. You'll see that my uh, visibility meter is just like a, a thin white line. Now it can actually go sort of one step below that and make you even more hidden and then it will be sort of like a greyed out white line. And I was moving around in this tree trying to see if I could get my visibility meter down to that so that I was practically as invisible as I possibly could be, hidden as I possibly could be, and, you know, without the wind blowing in his face, and I was hoping that then he would actually come closer than that because he was definitely noticing me from that distance. Now, thankfully, sort of shifting around in this tree, I eventually found the perfect spot. And it literally was probably a couple of inches worth of just perfect cover in this tree. The rest of it would not give me full cover. But you'll now be able to see on my visibility meter, I ha am now in full cover here in this tree. And you can see now he's coming much closer, still staying calm at this point, And he's still walking towards me. Now, he ends up stopping here and he actually goes to drink, which is just so cool to see a great one that close just chilling. I think that that's just an, an awesome experience. And like I said, this is what a grind is for me. Like, this is the rewarding bit. It's great, you know, shooting them and putting them in the trophy lodge, but this is the moment that I've been looking for, is this encounter and this time... It's like the reward after such a long, intense grind like it has been. And um, yeah, it's just awesome to just see a 10 Fabled just hanging out like this, I think. And like I said, I know it might frustrate a lot of people, so I'm really, really sorry. We are going to kill this bear, I do promise that. But like I said, I don't want, I didn't want to rush anything. I wanted to really take my time as well because. There's no need to rush. These animals, you know, if you've been grinding for them in single player, it's on your single player. You've not got to worry about anyone else coming and stealing it. You've not got to worry about losing it in any way. It's just there. So, you know, you don't need to rush. And like I said, I was shaking. I was shaking so bad when I saw, you know, saw that a 10 Fabled was finally here that I didn't, um, didn't want to mess up a shot by taking it too early when I was still shaking. Now, I ran at this guy here to try and see if I could get him to go aggressive. The great one ended up fleeing, but check this out. The level three that was hanging around in the same zone actually went aggressive. And this was just a funny moment to me that I had to include because I was, you know, really hoping that the 10 Fabled would go aggressive and it would just be a cool encounter. But no, the level three decided that he was going to try and have a go, which I just thought was very funny. Now, leading up to the best moment for me of this entire hunt... Again, the mountain lions came through, ended up spooking this guy. And I was tracking him, trying to work out where he was going to go next. And he turned around and started walking back towards his zone. Now, I've noticed that sometimes nervous bears will go back to their zone. Sometimes they don't seem to want to and they'll start drinking in the middle of a field or, you know, in the middle of trees. But sometimes they will actually turn around and go back to their zone. And this did appear to be what this guy was choosing to do, even to the point where he started to trot there. Now, you can see I've got a couple of tents set up at this lake from where I've been grinding. You can see the hunting pressure from where I'd been shooting bears before. Um, cause I, like, as I mentioned sort of briefly at the start of this video, I noticed that I'd shoot some bears here and as I would go to pick them up, um, especially if there was any that were wounded and had run a bit further, by the time I'd come back to this lake, I noticed there'd be more bears. So I'd make a point of coming sort of backwards and forwards towards this lake several times sort of in and out of render to see if any more bears would show up. And that's when he showed up. So I had that tent there. Jumped to, jumped to that tent and I was going to try and ambush him and then I realised that my tent was actually too close to where he was. So he ends up spooking, spooks past me and then ends up running this way. And I was again sort of stalking him to see where he was going to go, what he was going to do. And I ended up seeing he was going this way, fleeing. And eventually he goes nervous. And I saw an opportunity with some of these smaller trees that maybe I'd be able to get myself some cover and try and call this guy back to me. Like I said, I didn't know that this was going to work. I just thought, 
I'll give it a go. You know, normally, as I've, I've been told by everyone, nervous animals won't come into a call. And I've experienced it myself that nervous animals normally don't come into a call. But this guy did. And I remember I told the people I was talking to in Discord at the time that this call, he came straight back to it. And it was, you know, a quite a confusing moment because none of us expected this to actually happen. So I don't know if this is uh, something that a lot of people have noticed while hunting bears, that they will still come into a call while nervous. But I'd love to hear from you guys if you knew about this, because I certainly didn't. I've always been told nervous animals won't come into a call. So when he turned around and started heading straight back towards me, I was very, very shocked. And I'm perfectly hidden here, and he's just coming straight back. And I thought, okay, if he's coming straight back this way this could be the opportunity because he's coming into the call so hopefully he won't stop like he did when we were by the water where he was drinking hopefully he'll just keep coming and coming and coming until he gets too close and spooks basically and just look at this encounter that i managed to have with this bear this is more than i could ever have asked for this is literally the dream this is the moment this is what I wanted. To have a great one bear this close, this is incredible. Absolutely incredible. And I knew he was going to spook at some point. There's no way he was going to hang around forever. So I'm snapping as many pictures as I can. And yep, yeah, there he goes to flee. But that was so, so incredibly cool. I I can't. I still can't believe that that actually happened. That he came so close. That was so perfect. I'm so, so thrilled about that. That was, that was the moment. That's what I was looking for. Now, he ended up going back to his drink zone. And I basically decided I'd give it one more go at getting really close to this guy. And no matter what happened after this, I'd go and actually shoot him. And like I said, I wasn't in any uh, in any rush with this. There's no need to rush. So by spending some time and actually just photographing him and seeing him on the map, it gives me some time to actually calm my nerves over actually shooting this thing. Because at the end of the day... That is a, a big moment when you actually go to take that shot. And if you've been grinding black bears or spending any time hunting black bears, you may very well be aware that there is a bit of a bug where sometimes you'll shoot a bear that is stood on all fours, like these guys are here right now, and then when you actually pick them up in the harvest screen, it will show that they were sort of a, th sort of a quarter or a third of the way sort of stood up. Um, they're like getting up onto their hind legs to stand up and that can mean that a perfect double lung shot becomes intestines or a hip shot just anything other than double lung liver and I was so scared about that bug happening I have been thinking about it the whole time I've been grinding black bears because I've had it a few times where I've shot a bear that was on all fours and then you look in the harvest screen and it's like, it's getting there to being like halfway stood up. And I just did not want that to happen with this guy. I did not want to end up messing him up. I just really didn't. It's been such a long grind and I like to get the full score on a great one. You know, you want to see the great one medal after so, so much work. Now, you can see here that he is actually alarmed, and I kind of figured that I was basically busted at this point. I had no cover here, so I basically just got up and ran there, and what I was going to do was see if he would spook off and then turn around and come back if I, you know, would sit and call for him in another spot that I worked out actually gave me cover. And sure enough, that's what happened. He turned around, came straight back as soon as I started calling. Which is something that, you know, that's a really useful piece of information now that I have learned because of this grind. I probably would never have learned that some animals can come into the call while nervous. Because, like I said, I've just always been told that that's not a thing. That you need to wait until they're calm for them to respond to a caller. Well, you guys can see that that was not the case with this guy. And, like I said, I discussed it with other people and they all agreed that, as far as they knew nervous animals don't respond to a caller well this guy very much did so that's going to be useful information for other hunts 
just look at this bear the way he walks that's just a majestic looking creature i just love the great ones in call of the wild it's just something so cool so awesome to actually aim for and then when you get to see one it's just like the most magical thing you just don't expect it when it actually happens now he sort of worked his way around me rather than coming straight towards me this time and he starts drinking there and because he's at that that direction in my wind he's probably picking up a bit of my scent an animal doesn't need to be fully in that wind directional cone that you can see on your compass in order to actually pick up your scent now if he was directly in that i would have expected that he would have spooked already but because it's blowing in this general direction i would expect that he's probably already picking up on some of my scent being such a high level animal you know this is the highest level for any animal in call of the wild these guys are very very sensitive they will notice you if you're not in full cover if you're you know your scent isn't quite perfect if it's blowing in slightly the wrong direction they're gonna pick it up and that's exactly what happened here he goes alert then he goes alarmed which you can tell when an animal is alarmed they'll start trotting around a little bit quicker and I knew that this meant he was probably going to spook after he stands up again and so I was just waiting for him to spook at this point and he goes back down onto all fours he gets back up again and he's gonna go and spook so I had one more really nice close encounter with him there that was really really awesome that first encounter that I had where he actually walked straight towards me though with the cooler I think that was probably the best one out of all of the uh the encounters I had with this guy, that one where he just came so close, I think was awesome. But now, this is the moment that you guys have probably been waiting for. It is time to actually take this guy down. Now, I decided that I was just going to use the 300 for this because a couple of reasons. The 300 is one of my favourite rifles in the entire game. Absolutely love it. I use it all the time. I uh, used it throughout the entire grind and it's always been a weapon that I wanted to take a great one with but obviously it's not ethical for Red Deer or Whitetail so this was a perfect opportunity for that and I just wanted to make sure this being my first ever great one bear I didn't want to do anything risky just wanted to get this guy down and get the medal and get everything perfect on this first first one for the great one black bear like i said with subsequent great ones like i have with whitetail sometimes i'll do challenges like the next shot whitetail great one but i wasn't going to do anything like this for my first great one black bear now as you will have seen there as soon as he put his head down to drink i took the shot and thankfully it went straight into a lung and he then actually ran and ran into the water and then ends up floating over to me and it was just such a tense moment i was pretty sure that that shot was right and in the correct place but until you actually pick it up there's always that bit of questioning now unfortunately i couldn't really get any good pictures of him being actually downed because he was in the water but as you will see he is a great one 27.30 scoring fabled cream great one black bear how cool is that i'm so incredibly happy with this so i i just can't put into words i'm so relieved i'm so thrilled i'm so grateful all of the words i just um everything so many emotions went into into this moment and i was so so happy and i have to say a huge 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 thank you to all of you guys who've actually supported me through through this grind and given me encouragement uh you know because like i said it's been at times where i've been questioning whether it was going to happen and whether i was doing things wrong and i'm i'm always that kind of person who will question themselves and say hey am i doing something wrong is should i be doing something different and i will question myself and and say that it's an if not a when with one of these things i i know that there's people that have put in more kills than i have on certain grinds and have still not gotten great ones so i know that this is an incredibly lucky thing and i don't take that for granted and i'm very 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 grateful for it and i will always be very grateful for opportunities like this and to get to share something like this with you guys means the world i wanted to get that kind of footage to be able to share with you guys so that you guys could see what one of these absolutely stunning creatures looks like in game up close for yourselves so i hope that that you know i hope the footage did a good job of actually showing this guy off to you 
and giving you guys an idea of just how incredible these great one bears actually are and it's just such an awesome thing i'm just so incredibly incredibly grateful and like i said i'm incredibly grateful to all of you who throughout the grind and as i've been posting everything have you know kept like i said kept giving me encouragement and all that it really does mean the world now i have to just say one thing look at the weight on this guy 394.90 kgs now i mentioned earlier in the video that a normal black bear will max out at uh, 290 kgs that is the max weight for a normal black bear so he is just about just over 100 kgs over the normal max weight for a black bear which is just huge that is just absolutely huge i i don't know what uh, like i don't know what i was expecting to see on the weight but i wasn't expecting him to be that heavy that was a real surprise to me to, to see a weight like that it was just kind of crazy like i said over just slightly over 100 kgs over the normal max weight for a black bear kind of crazy so of course now we're going to go to the trophy lodge this is the trophy lodge that i started for when ravon Tuli released so it's not got a whole lot of trophies in here at the minute i'm still you know getting stuff from ravon Tuli to put in here but i wanted the first great one in here to be one of the new great one black bears i've got my white tail and my red deer great ones in my other trophy lodge my first trophy lodge that is now all filled up to the point that i'm happy with and now we're moving on to this trophy lodge and the first great one in here is this absolutely stunning fabled cream great one black bear 27.30 scoring you can see the great one logo also interesting fact the great one logo for the black bears is different to the great one logo for the red deer and white tail they have like a different a different looking logo the, the red deer and white tail have one that looks more like antlers and the bears have one that's just like more like straight lined doesn't look like it's not made to look like antlers so i thought that was pretty cool but yeah just taking a look at this guy in the lodge now and he is just so so gorgeous and i know i've said that throughout the entire video but uh, it's just i'm so i just can't i can't put into words how much this means to me and you know for a lot of people this might just be oh it's just a it's just a game it's just pixels but this does mean a lot to me it means a lot to me because of the community because of all of you guys it's a lot more special than just a pixel bear this is a lot more special than just that so once again i just want to say thank you to everyone <laughs> which i know i keep saying but i it needs to be said and like i said i really really hope you guys enjoyed this and that it was interesting and fun and entertaining for you guys to watch with him coming up so close like that not rather than just shooting him from across the lake or something but that is gonna be it for this video guys i hope you have enjoyed it thank you so 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 much as always for all your support and everything you guys do as always it means the absolute world to me and <laughs> i'm almost getting emotional it really does mean so much to me and like i said this grind took a little bit of a toll on me it's been a bit of a, a difficult time in general for me so getting to the end of this it's just uh, i couldn't be more happy i could not be more happy thank you so so much everyone and i will see you guys in the next video Thank you.